Okay, it's time for another episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Well, finally, my LED level meters have arrived. And no, you're not seeing double, there are two of them. This one is going to go into my microphone preamp that I'm making. One side is going to measure the output from the amplifier, the other side is going to measure the output, you know, like final output. And this one is going to go into another project, which will be in a future video. So, anyway, I've just got to solder these up and uh, try them out. Alrighty then. Guess it's time to give these a test to make sure they work. Yeah. So I spent a good half an hour soldering all this up. My soldering skills may not be the best, but I think they're good enough. Alright, so I'm just going to connect this one up to the power supply. I've set my power supply to 5 volts because I've no idea what voltage these run on. It doesn't specify, so... 5 volts should be safe. Let's see if this does anything. Okay, yeah. That's looking good. Let's just try to get that on there a bit more firmly. So, I should just be able to touch any of these wires. And this thing should think that's a signal coming in because... You know, your body's like an antenna which can pick up all the, like... Mains crap that's going through the walls and everything. So I'm just touch up one of these wires, see if that does anything. Okay, that's probably a ground wire. I haven't actually noticed what these... Um, where's the yellow wire actually? Is that, a, is that a ground wire? Yeah, there was. That's why it wasn't doing anything. Okay, yeah, that's picking up something. Um, and yep, that one's working too. So, looking good so far. Let's connect up the other one, see if that's working. Yep, I am my own signal generator. positive gone. Right. Now that's got itself all hooked around something. Right. Now if I could just get this to stay still, we can have a look. And yep, this one looks to be working too. So it looks like I got away with my crappy soldering skills this time. Right, let's just touch one of these wires, see if it sees a signal. Yep, that one's working. Check the other side. Also good. The only thing I'm not too sure about is there's no calibration or anything on the other side, you know, help if I was actually showing it in the camera. So no calibration or anything, there's a there's a button there, I don't know what that does, but... Well, I guess the next thing to do would be to, um... Uh... I don't know, actually, I haven't got that far yet. Okay, then. I think it's about time to calibrate this thing. And I'm going to calibrate it to the average output level of my, um, limiter circuit. So, let's just, um, turn it on here. Tested the circuit and make sure it works. Um, yeah, I think... No, I don't want to connect that lead to the power. That would probably end pretty badly. Alright. That's on. It's... Anyway, let's just play some music here. And... Hmm, nothing's coming through. I don't know why. Well, me and my infinite stupidity, I've forgotten to connect this to the output of the circuit. So, yeah, like I said, 
you know, I tested this with the scope, make sure it was working and everything. So anyway, now with the meter connected to it, let's just give it a little demonstration. Yeah, that's really peaking the thing. I'm going to have to turn that down a bit. Now, of course, just turning the level down the normal way. You can still see that's peaking the thing because it's keeping the level nice and steady. So, this is actually working really well at keeping the levels nice and good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a resistor between the level meter and the output of the circuit. Now, I could just put a potentiometer between the circuit and the meter, but the thing is, I measured the input resistance of this and it's about 15 kilo ohms, so I could just put a resistor in series with that and that would be like set at a certain level, if you get what I'm trying to say. Thing is, I have no idea what value resistor I should put between this and this. Do you know what? That's what variable resistors are for. And my camera battery is just about depleted. Okay, so 470k seems to give us a much more reasonable readout. So I'm connecting this to the circuit through a 470k resistor. And yet that seems to be working pretty well. I'm feeding it some audio right now, which I cannot play for copyright reasons. But yeah, I'd say that's working pretty well. So, I think it's about time to build up a circuit and put it all in the box. So, as you can see, I made a start here. This is the actual amplifier part of the circuit. And yes, I am going to use the rest of this board. I'm not, I haven't gone crazy and just put everything all up on one end. The other end is where the limit is going to go. So, we've got an input and an output and three potentiometers. This one is the sensitivity adjuster, um, adjustment. This one's for the overall gain, and this one's for the common mode noise ejection. So, it's about time to turn this thing on and see if it works. I have the microphone connected up to the circuit, and I'm monitoring the output on the scope. Let's turn the power on and see if anything blows up. Okay, nothing blown up so far, and yeah. It is picking up from the microphone. And I'll just pick this up and speak into it. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, that looks good. Looks like it's working. Actually, this is kind of a first for me. I've actually built something up and it worked first time. Yeah, there was one thing I noticed before I turned this on. I put this capacitor in the wrong way around, and it's a good thing I noticed that. So, I think the next thing to do is to put the limiter in, which is going to go all in there. And for those of you hungry for a schematic, well, here is what I've done so far. And I've even marked what the transistors are, except I forgot to mark what the op amps are, but yeah, it doesn't matter because you can just use eh, any op amp really. Okay, so, I decided to see how well the circuit would fit into the box, and it fits in really nicely. Also, I've added the automatic level control circuit, or limiter, or whatever you want to call it. Soldered in the input jack, and also a switch to switch the, um, between the automatic level control and the, um, amplifier's output. So I think the next thing to do is just power this up as it is, and just make sure that everything works. Also, I'll make sure these potentiometers are not touching each other so nothing shorts out. And I'll give it a test run with this microphone, and we'll see what we get. Okay, well, it's about time to test this thing on my very, very messy bench. So, I've turned this on and nothing's let out the magic smoke, which is good. I've got it connected up to my microphone over here. Hopefully it's away from any and all interference. And I've got the output of this circuit connected up to my computer, which is ready to record. So, I'm going to 
going to try this with and without the automatic level control and we'll see if it all goes well. Yeah, that's enough waffle, let's give it a test. Okay, so this is a test of the thing. I can see on Audacity that the microphone still appears to be picking up quite a lot of hum, but that might also be because this is right on top of my power supply at the moment, which, if you've ever tried to do electronics, you'll know that transformers release a ton of electromagnetic interference, be they switch mode or linear. So anyway, this is without the automatic level control. I'm now going to switch it over to the automatic level control. I'm going to have to trim that bit there as well, but... Okay, so we should be hearing from the automatic level control now. So let's hear... Um, let's see how well this is. Signal definitely seems to have reduced. I'm not liking the look of that waveform that I'm seeing on Audacity right now. It looks a bit distorted. I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to play this back and see what's going on. I don't even know if you can understand what I'm saying right now. So, yeah. Let's try and find out what went wrong. Well, there's your problem. I've put this transistor in the wrong way around. A mistake anybody could make. Okay, well... Scratch that idea, I have put the transistor in the right way around. And done all kinds of inspection here. And I'm just not getting any amplification out of the chip. I don't know why. This is on the scope, measuring what's going into the chip and measuring what's going out of the chip. As I'm speaking into the microphone, you can see both traces are pretty much the same. I mean, there is a little bit of an offset on the output, but... There's no amplification there at all, so something isn't right in there. So basically I'm putting like the whole line input into this transistor and that's just rectifying the signal. So yeah, we don't want that. We want we only want a very, very, very tiny signal at this transistor so it doesn't do that. Yeah, so I've got to find out why this chip isn't amplifying. And then that should sort the problem. Yeah, looking at the other side of the board, from a better angle, I don't think that is making any con. I don't think that is making any contacts there. So let's refollow that joint, see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, I'm just going to break this thing. Okay, now we've got game. As you can see, the blue is not even moving at all while the yellow is nice and good. So yeah, it was this resistor here, this 1K resistor wasn't connected. Also, I don't have this 100 microfarad capacitor in there because I don't really think I needed it, so the other end of that resistor just goes to ground. But yeah, we have amplification now. I am monitoring what's coming out of the chip and what's going into the chip. So we're measuring at the collector of this transistor. You can see that every time I speak, we do get a little bit of offset there, which is what we should be getting. So I think... This is working. Let's have a listen to how it sounds. They are both recording. This camera is getting pretty hot. Okay, so now we're hearing a direct hookup from this circuit. Which is working now. This is the automatic level control. So I'm speaking about arm's length away from the microphone. I'm going to speak right up close to the microphone. And there shouldn't be hardly any change in the... Um, level of my voice. I'm now going to go back to speaking an arm arm's length away from the microphone again. And yeah, I think that is working. Apart from the hum that it's picking up, but, you know, that will get onto that. So yeah, I'm going to call this a success now. So the only thing left to do is put this back in its box and everything. Also, I've got to put in the level meters and Drill a lot of holes in the front panel for things to go through. 
Okay, well, amidst this mess of wires is my microphone preamp, my work in progress microphone preamp. As you can see, I've connected up the level meter now, so this is pretty much the completed circuit. Anyway, what I want to do now is I want to switch in the automatic level control which still needs a little bit of adjusting the signal getting into it is still a little bit too strong but let's just switch that in now well this switch here so now you can see the meters um, registering a little bit differently so this one here is the signal coming in I mean the signal coming out from the preamp this is the signal coming out from the uh, automatic level control and uh, yeah, I don't know what's causing that ticking noise that you can hear. Some kind of interference was getting in there anyway. So you can see that this is um, working pretty good. Now I'm going to switch back to ordinary. So both meters are now measuring the same thing. And yeah, yeah, I know I've got this upside down. I'll have to. That won't be upside down in the final thing. So what I've got to do is take care of that. Also, I've got to come up with some kind of power source for this thing, because at the moment I'm powering this on my external power supply. So, this is getting dual rail power, but plus and minus 9 volts. This is getting 5 volts. I don't dare put any more than 5 volts into that, because I don't know what voltage this is actually supposed to run on, but it seems to be okay on 5, so... I'll put some little voltage regulator in there so this gets 5 volts and come up with another power supply and I think that will be that. Oh yeah, going to have to mount all the controls on this plate here, so going to be doing some cutting and stuff. Anyway, that's it for now, so I think this video is getting like 50,000 hours long, so yeah. Until next time, goodbye. But just before we go, I'll leave you with the schematics. So this is the actual um, amplifier part of the circuit. And this is the limiter circuit. And this is a basic block diagram of how the final thing is going to work. So anyway, with that all said, it really is getting to the end of this video now. In the next video, I'm going to be investigating a way of powering it from a single rail supply, because so far I've been powering the op amps from a dual rail power supply, and also the level meters on a separate 5 volt supply, so I'm going to come up with a way of powering that all from one single single rail power supply, I've got a pretty good idea of how I could do that, but yeah, I think this video is probably running long now, so until next time, goodbye. Time for a rant. Yep, here's another problem I have with YouTube. Keeps doing this, unable to connect. Yet if I try again, now it loads. What's up with that?